Hi everyone, it's Ayame Kanaika from GospelThroughArts.com. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you all. This week, uh, my manager changes the day to that we usually go downtown. So you don't see me in the GO train station today. I'm at home. I'm working from home today. And um, we're supposed to go downtown on Thursday and Friday. So uh, the days have changed for this week. So I am excited. I can read the word of God with you today. God is so faithful. My brother and sister, do not be discouraged. God is with you. He's always with you and he encourages us daily. We can see the Apostle Paul. He was discouraged as well. He was human and he was discouraged when people, how much he preached and how much he was kind to the people, how much he loved them. They rejected the gospel many, many times. And when he was discouraged, we can see that the Lord Jesus spoke to Paul and said in the night by vision. In Acts chapter 18, verses 9, it says, Be not afraid, but speak, and hold not thy peace. My brother and sister, this is the message that God is speaking to you and me. Do not be afraid, but speak. Do not let your peace go because of the situation that you're facing. Do not let your peace go because of the trial that you're facing. But be bold and be not afraid, but speak. Speak, speak. God is asking us to speak to our situation. Speak to uh, and not be afraid of the things that are surrounding us. Things that easily discourage us. Things that overwhelm us. And he says, for I am with thee, and no man shall set on thee to hurt thee, for I have much people in this city. God has says that he has much people in this city. No one can pluck you from my hands. No one can set thee to hurt thee. And no man can hurt you because I am with thee. This is the promise that God says to you and me. No matter what you might face today, trials or tribulations, difficult things, God says to you, you and me, do not be afraid, my daughter. Do not be afraid, my son. I am with you. No one can pluck you from my hands. No one can set thee to hurt you. No one can hurt you. Even mentally, physically, spiritually, no one can hurt you because our God is with us. And our God always loves to comfort us. He always loves to comfort us. And before Jesus went to heaven, he says to his disciples that I'm coming very soon. I'm coming to take you, but I have to go because I'm preparing a place for you. And we can see the last letter that we read in Revelations where, uh, where Jesus appears to John and tells him to write these things and tells you and I to read Revelation and understand Revelation and to know the time is near, that God is coming very soon. And I love the, the verses that uh, the last chapter of Revelation, chapter 22, it says, And behold, I come quickly, verse 12, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. God is saying, behold, behold, I am coming quickly. It has gone 2,000 years, but he is saying to you and me in 2024, he's coming soon. I know it's hard, it's, I know it's tiring, I know it's overwhelming, I know it's not easy being a Christian, I know it's not easy trusting me, but be assured, I am coming quickly. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. He is the beginning, He is the end. He is coming very, very soon. So today, my brother and sister, if you feel tired and weary, overwhelmed, and difficult situations come your way, trust in a God who is your assurance, who gives a guarantee and tells you that He is coming very soon. He is with you. Surely, I come quickly. So we say to our Lord Jesus, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus, come Lord Jesus. And while we wait, we will work for you. While we wait, we will praise you. While we wait, we would not be slumbering. We would not be lazy. We would not be relaxing. We would be doing the work that you have asked us to do. What are the things that God has asked you and I to do? He's asking us to speak. 
he's asking us to be bold he's asking us not to fail because he's with us and paul had a great great long journey even though with the persecution even though there were a lot of people who were waiting to kill him there were 40 people who were fasting and waiting to kill and hurt paul but we know that paul endured through it in the end we know that he was martyred but we know that he is in heaven and his reward is great because we trust in a god who rewards us i love being rewarded when I plant a tulip bulb, I got some tulip bulbs yesterday when I went to the shop. I saw the tulip bulbs and I love to plant every year some tulips because spring comes and there is a reward. A beautiful tulip blooming up. And that is the, uh, the showcase to show that winter is over and spring is here and summer is coming. And the same way, your reward, I will be planting it in winter. I will be planting in fall so that in winter it's still under the ground there's no reward you don't see anything but in spring the flowers will bloom and the reward will 100% come every tulip bulb will bloom my brother and sister that is the reward that you and I have today the guaranteed that we have that God Jesus our Lord Jesus is coming for you and me and he is waiting to reward us he is waiting to see the work that we have done for him the way we stood up for him the way we loved him the way we served him the way we were his hands and his feet to people around us so rejoice today enjoy your day today be content with what god has given work might be hard and stressful situations might be difficult help health drug struggles might be hard financially it might be difficult but through it all our god is with us he is our assurance he is with us he belongs to us and we belong to him let's pray father god we come to you you call us up us beloved we are you belong to you and you belong to us you are our assurance are guaranteed that you are you have said and spoken that you're coming again. God, come soon. Maranatha, we are ready, Lord. Come for us. Lord, but before you come, you know we have a big task. Speak about you everywhere we go. So take us, Lord, everywhere that you open doors for us, that we would be bold to speak of, of you, not be ashamed of the gospel. That, Lord, people will see from our words, our deeds, and actions that we are different. And that is because of you. Use us today, Lord. Comfort people who are suffering. Comfort people who are mourning. Comfort people who need your strength. Comfort and provide for people who need a provision. Make a way where there seems to be no way. God, you are able. We love you. We honor you. We are privileged that we can call you our Father. And come to you with our burdens. Come to you with our struggles. Knowing you are faithful. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you my brother and sister. I want to sing today a hymn. It's called Blessed Assurance. Jesus is mine. Blessed Assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long all the day long let us praise him let us trust him because he's our assurance he's our guarantee the sick the security deposit is already deposited in you that is the holy spirit inside of you if you have never felt the holy spirit call on him he's the spirit of god who dwells in you i feel him every day i feel him every time he's with me as well as he's with you Trust in Him today. Depend on Him today. Love the Lord Jesus with all your heart. He's with you. He's walking this walk with you. He said He'll never leave you. 
do not be afraid trust him today god bless you have a wonderful tuesday blessed work week god bless you share this message with your friends and your loved ones encourage one another may even one person listen to this message and share it with another may it bless you today god bless you bye